All right, everybody. I'm so excited to be talking today with Lindsay Javera, who is an ambassador with s and Family Brands. Um, her legacy brand, as all of ours probably is, is Stella and Dot. And we are stylists too, so um, just getting used to all the new semantics of this. But um, we're going to have our quick chat, as we always do, about her experience as a stylist, ambassador, with Stella and Dot and um, just hear about her experience and what I admire so much about Lindsay is her ability to navigate all the things and also move around the country like I, I'm hoping she's gonna touch on that in a few of these questions here but um, welcome first welcome so official Thank you. Um, it but feels I, official. <laughs> I know it feels so official, doesn't it? Um, but I want to just like start with the basics. So like, just tell us about you. Like, just tell everyone who Lindsay is and what your life looks like. Okay. Well, I am Lindsay. I um, am married. I've been married for 16 years. Um, we have three children and an 11 year old boy, Cole, a nine year old girl, Elena, and then a one year old, <laughs> Roman, so who's in crazy stage right now. Um, we have a dog that's a rescue, so she's kind of nice, kind of a pain. And yeah, that's us. We are a military family, so my husband is an army doctor. And we have moved nine times in 16 years. Yes. So we are currently in Washington state, which is our home state. And real quick, I'm going to ask you like, what was the, what, what prompted you to join Stella and Dot? And um, so I want to add, that's like my second question here, but I would love for you to take us also through, you said all of your moves, like how many moves you've made while you've been with us and how you have been able to keep your business going. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I started Stella and Dot when we were stationed in Hawaii. Um, I had Cole and Elena at the time and um, I saw it actually at a vendor event and I took the catalog home and Ben bought me my first piece for Christmas. And then um, like a year and a half later, I hosted a trunk show at my house and it was super fun and I got a ton of free stuff. Um, and then a few months after that, I decided to join and basically it was for free jewelry. So... <laughs> That was my motive. I was going to make my money back, get a whole bunch of free stuff, and that was it. And here I am six years later. <laughs> and with a group of ambassadors that you have brought along to do this with you too. So it was, it probably became more than jewelry too, but what I found is just a common thread of all of this. And, and my own story too, is it started with the jewelry. Like that's what it was. It was, and, and we're actually sporting the same, the same jewelry today, except different yes. colors. Different color. Yes. Yes. But um, anyway, so I think it's just, it's, it's so interesting to me as you know, we, you evolve in your platform and your business with this brand that it always really just does come back to, you just love the stuff. Cute is universal. <laughs> so, um, and fashion is fun. So, um, after you became a part of Stella and Dot, was there something that like surprised you about your experience or something that you found here that you didn't really think that you would experience when you came on board, when you first joined to while you've been For part sure. of it? Yes. So when I signed up, I distinctly remember my mentor saying, you are going to love the girls and you are going to have so many friends. And I thought to myself, that's really not why I'm doing this. I really don't want a bunch of more friends. <laughs> I was like, I don't like, that's not what I'm doing this for. Like, I'm not, 
I don't know, like, yay, but it just wasn't like, it wasn't my reason behind it. Um, but what I came to realize is that I actually really did need the friendships and the community. And I thrive off of that now. And not only it's, it's hard because I'm a small business owner as well. And I work by myself. And so whether you're a stay at home mom or a small business owner, um, those things get lonely sometimes and you don't have anybody there to like back you up or bounce ideas off of or to push you or congratulate you and cheer you on. And it was all those little things that I was missing that helped me. Like I would have never made it in this business as long as I have without the support of our team. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would have given up years ago, but just, the fact that um, so many of us, I mean, we talk to each other, we chat and we call and catch up and it's just has become such a family that it has made me stick around and keep it up throughout all of our moves. So it's like one constant thing that never changes. It just keeps getting better the more people we add on. I love that you just said family because I, it's interesting. I think you're the first person in a long time or if I don't know that has actually used that word to describe this because that is what it's like. You know, you can, you don't choose your family, but you kind of just did, you know, yeah. with all of this, it's your work family and we call it a community so much, but, and it is, but I love what you said. Cause I think that actually really puts the, puts the pin on it right there. Um, because you you're there for each other and it's you I, I can't say it any better than what you just said <laughs> I love how you how you shared that because like, like you said I mean like I like you shared you came for the jewelry you stay for the the family and for the community so um so what is something that the income you have earned through this platform has provided for you and your family whether it's you know, something fun and frivolous or, you know, serious and life-changing, like, or all of the above, like whatever that may be. Okay. Well, my income I use for mostly for fun. Um, I am a weird <laughs> gift card and income hoarder. <laughs> So I keep all my money on the account. Um, I've been made fun of many times by, by my Stella and Dot family for, <laughs> for how I do this. But um, before, right? <laughs> I, yeah, I took Ben to Germany on a trip. So that was one fun thing that I saved up for. Um, oh, my daughter's in the background saying dance competitions. Yes. They're, they're very expensive and I, and I do use it for dance. Um, we tend to buy older homes and like to renovate them when we move. And so a, a lot of my cell and not money goes into light fixtures or carpet or just decorations if I want to change something up. So that's a that's lot of homes too. You've moved a lot. <laughs> We've moved a lot. So I'm constantly, you know, like when you move into a house, you always have to get new things yes. or, you know, make it fun. So but if I, it's I funny. I, I was just, I just saw something yesterday on Instagram. I follow the Holderness family and it's yeah. like, now that we're all, we've, we've all been in our homes for a long time. It's like, you're looking at everything with a new lens and it's like, just burn it down and start from scratch again. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's like being in new and being in forever. I feel like we're all in that state too. So, um, okay. Now what is your, this could be like the hardest question, actually. What is your favorite piece? And it can be of all time. It can be right now, your go-to product. And I'm going to let you choose more than one if you would like to. So that's so hard. So I, I am going to choose more than one. Um, I'm going to choose a Stella and Dot and then a skincare because you can't like lump them both into the same category. So fair. no, it's not fair. <laughs> it's an unfair question. Um, okay. My absolute all-time favorite never take off piece is Covet. I always have my arrow on no matter what, like I just don't take it off. Yeah. Um, so that is my favorite piece. And, and if I do take it off, it's to switch it for another Covet piece. 
if the initial or something. I always have a piece of covet on. Um, and then I never leave the house without my ever daylight tinted SPF moisturizer. You know, it's just, those are, I, I would agree on both. <laughs> Ditto. They're both incredible and they're good staples and they're on both ends of the spectrum. Yeah. We have. So that's awesome. So now just to wrap this up, it's not necessarily a question, but um, just a last thought are, is there anything that um, any tip, any um, just, anything, inspiration, anything that you would like to share about anything on this adventure or as being a part of this family or, and just getting that all the things done. I mean, three kids, multiple moves, multiple businesses, all of that, you know, you do it all. <laughs> I try to do it all. I think the biggest tip is that and that I've realized during this time of COVID is that um, you have to give yourself grace. You know, like the best thing about this is that sometimes you're on and you're a rock star and you're having like amazing sales. And then sometimes you're stuck in quarantine and you can't do trunk shows and you have to pivot and give yourself grace and just make it work another way. Um, you know, I've, I've moved my business, I think, four times, I think, um, four or five, <laughs> I can't really remember, yes. um, and every time it's starting fresh, which is kind of exciting because you, you can start fresh, um, but I just think that, you know, some days are going to be good, some days are going to be bad, and you just have to give yourself the grace to um, allow that to happen and keep going. Isn't that what we're all learning right now in the biggest of ways? I mean, that's just good life advice, period. So maybe mic drop on that one for you. So mic drop. <laughs> that's, a good one. that's a good one. I think we could all use that for ourselves because it's, it's a lot, but um, it's, it's really fun to find the joy in this and to be able to have a platform and to have the opportunity to, you know, pivot and adapt as, as life is just different. Um, as we were just talking about it before, we, we actually hit record on this and, and it's, you know, we're just going to go with, go with it. So, um, anyway, well, I am so happy. I just think the world of you and always have, and so admire how you have just, seamlessly or even if it doesn't feel that way you make it look that way um <laughs> seamlessly transition through so many um moves adding a baby um, in the middle of uh, like your whole journey here having another business you do do it well with grace you do it with so much grace and um it's just such a joy to have you in the family so thank you um, so thank love you. having you as part of my family i know i know i'm glad we all chose each other so i know <laughs> um, yes but thank you thank you thank you for being a part of this ish series i, I started with five ish and maybe i just should call it ish now because we go ish. more. <laughs> um, but i appreciate you sharing your story i know so many people can relate to it and um I just appreciate your time today. So thank you. Thanks for having me. Okay. Good to bye. chat. Thanks. Bye. Bye -bye.